of this library, I mean folded sculptures that collapse neatly between the confines of two pages of a book or a card. Right? Yes. We're going to talk about making them because this is the activity that is probably the cheapest to pick up. All you need are paper, adhesive, something to cut with, and something to cut uh, scores with, or fold scores with. Yes. It's something that you can make from uh, materials that you have around your home, school, or office. So tonight's presentation, we are going to talk about the simple mechanics that make up pop-ups. We're going to bolt on them together to explain some more complicated <laughs> techniques. And if you recognize these mechanics, gently cheer, yeah. And if, you, if it's new to you, then say, whoa. Ready? OK. The first one, most of you should have seen in grade school. It's two folds to make a mouth. We'll call it the single cut. The second one is a variation of the first. It's a piece of paper that's folded in half and glued at an angle to a page. We'll call it a V. This is an accordion, which is kind of like a birthday streamer. And then if you cut a spiral in a circle and tape the ends to the opposite pages on the card, then you will have what we'll call a slinky. Next up is what paper engineer, <laughs> what paper engineer Paul Jackson calls uh, wings, which are flaps that are crossed. And then we have layers, which are these 90 degree angles that are used to make vertical cards that kind of open up. It's hard to talk with my hands this way. The last but not least of the simple mechanics is the floating layer, which is a platform of paper that's suspended by three struts. Now, I know what you're thinking when you see this slide. The first thing you're thinking is, wait a minute. I bet I could stack these and make a tower. Of course you are, and of course you can. This brings level two combinations. If you put two flaps of paper on the sides of a floating layer, you have a horizontal box. If you put a single flap of paper on a V, you have a diagonal box. Whoa! And when you get it, <laughs> the cool thing is that in fact, any valley fold that you are creating, you can add more pop-ups into and you can nest them into it. So if you put a layer in the middle of your paper, you have two pop-ups on each page. If you cut multiple layers on top of each other, you get what this is, which is kirigami, which is this Japanese art of cutting multiple layers from a single page. I highly recommend that you check out. There's a gentleman who goes by the name Paper Dandy, and he has some amazing kirigami of movie houses, in, uh, horror movie houses. Anyway, back to the action. Simmery flat, floating layer, face down. It's like a half of a V attached to a V with a strut. Next, if you take wings and you put them in the middle of the diagonal box, you have a trellis which you can attach stretchers to. So many combinations! So now we need to start thinking about movement and motion. And if we look at V's, V's open either up or down towards the wide angle of the, the wide opening of the V. And the more wider the angle, the more they'll pop. If you want things to rotate, you can make an asymmetric layer, which is kind of like a fusion between a V and a layer, and it rotates inwards. Yeah. <laughs> to rotate out, then you put a V-fold on a layer and it'll judo chop. And then you can get even more complicated from there where you have structures that are hinging around joints or they're sliding through holes or even creating curved shapes on the pop-up card by pulling a tab with the opening motion of the card. I've even seen that used to spin paper around a wooden dowel. And speaking of wooden dowels, you can get creative and experiment with different materials, different lighter, heavier papers, foil, plastic, string, ribbon. String is really handy. So, this is your toolbox. We've got the single cut, the V, the accordion, the slinky, uh, the wings, layers, floating layer combined into two kinds of boxes, a slat, multiple layers, scenery flats, a trellis, moving up, down, rotating, hinging, I, yes, we know the what, but what about the why? Why would you make pop-ups? SMS and e-cards and many, many moving pictures under glass. It's kind of charming and actually, dare I say, magical to receive a handmade card that opens up. And furthermore, pop-ups are a tremendous teaching tool. It's an activity that requires calculation and creativity, and it hits all of the letters of science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Now, wait a minute, science and technology? Yes, 
Paper and pop-up techniques are used in foldable robots from Berkeley. They're used in surgical stints that collapse and then expand inside the human body. The $1 folded paper, nearly indestructible foldoscope, which is used by doctors in developing countries, uses these techniques. There's a whole class at MIT on folding algorithms. So hopefully I've gotten you excited about pop-ups. <laughs>